Hi everybody, welcome to City and County Credit Union's Money Lesson for Kids. My name is Bailey and today's lesson is going to be on identifying coins and knowing how much they're worth. Now a quick note to parents, the supplies are super minimal for this lesson. Number one, you need this screen. Two, headphones if you don't want to listen to me the entire time, which I understand. And three, if you have any spare change around or they have a piggy bank full of change, keep that nearby for an activity that we're going to do at the end. Now I want you to hit pause, find a good place in your house to get comfortable, and let's get started. All right, we're going to start with this coin right here. Any guesses on what it is? Shout it out if you know the answer. Good, if you guessed a penny, you are correct. Now, did you, do you know how much it's worth? Show me with your hands if you know. Good, it is worth one cent. This penny, or this coin features President Lincoln. Now, although President Lincoln wasn't the first president of the United States, he was the first president to be featured on a coin. And when this coin was first created, they only printed off $111.78 worth. So that means they printed off 11,178 pennies. Good, now we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, here we go. Here's your next guess. Shout it out if you know the answer. If you guess nickel, you're correct. Does anybody know how much it is worth? Again, reminder, show me with your hand. If you said five cents, you're correct. Now, when this was first created to, to show people and remind people how much it was worth, it featured a big five right in the center surrounded by stars. Now eventually the design changed and it featured Lady Liberty and then it featured a Native American and now most recently it features Thomas Jefferson. Unfortunately this coin often gets confused with another one that we haven't talked about yet because it's similar in size but a quick tip it's a little bit thicker. All right now we're going to go to the next one and a hint this one is similar size to the penny but a different color. Any guesses? Shout it out. If you guessed dime, you are correct. Now, does anybody know how much a dime is worth? Hint, you're gonna need two hands to show me the answer. If you guessed 10 cents, you are correct. Now, I want you to find a real dime and I want you to feel the edges, okay? When you feel the edges, you should feel 118 ridges. That was put in place on the dime and many other coins because it stopped people from shaving them down to get access to the precious metal inside of them. At the time, it was worth a lot more with what the penny or what the dime was made out of, but the ridges are still there just for that protection. So I want you to feel along the edges and you'll find them. The last coin I want to highlight is this big one. It's not this big in real life, but it is bigger than all other coins that we've talked about today. Any guesses? Starts with a really funny letter. If you guess quarter, you're correct. Now this one, you can't show me on your hands how much it's worth, so you have to shout it out. Any guesses? You typically can use it in a vending machine. If you guess 25 cents, you are correct. Now the quarter, um, if you have four of them, you equal a dollar. That's the best way I remember how much a quarter is worth, 25 cents. On the front, you're gonna have George Washington. And if you look really close at your quarter, you're gonna see initials. And older quarters, you're gonna see the initial JF. That's the original coin sculptor. A newer version, so it'll depend on what year quarter you have, you're going to see WC, and it's typically right down here. That is the most recent coin sculptor for the quarter. Now, after we go through coins, then you have your bills. Okay, so you have the $1 bill, the $5 bill, the $10 bill, the $20 bill, and then the $100. Now, a, a bill that a lot of people don't talk about is this one right here. It's called a $2 bill. A lot of people think this is a rare bill, but actually they're still being printed. When people see them, they typically like to save them because, because they think they're so rare. Now, in my household, I do hold on to these because we think they're lucky. I keep them in a safe place, and so every time I get one, I think I have a good luck wish. I don't know if that's true, but you can try that at your house. Let's do a quick review of our coins because your activity is going to come next. What's this one? A penny. What's this one? A nickel. What's this one? 
a dime. And what's this one? A quarter. Now a big test is I'm gonna ask you how much they're worth. All right, we're gonna start with the penny. Show me on your hands. One cent, good work. Then we have the nickel. Any guesses? Quick think, five cents. The dime, this one is worth 10 cents. And lastly, the quarter, which I can't show you on my hands, is worth 25 cents. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to find your piggy bank. I have my trusty city and county piggy bank, and I want you to empty it out. I don't have any coins in here right now, unfortunately, but I want you to find yours. I want you to spread it out on a table, okay? Put it in a place where your pets can't get it, maybe your little brother or little sister, and I want you to practice putting your different coins in different piles. So I want all of your quarters all together, I want all of your dimes all together, all of your nickels, and your pennies. Once you have that done, take a picture, send it to us on our Facebook page or in an email at social at cccu.com. The first 10 people who do that will receive a city and county piggy bank in the mail from all of your friends at city and county. Now that wraps up today's money lesson for kids. Until next time, my name is Bailey and tune into your YouTube, to our YouTube page or our Facebook channel for more lessons. See you next time.